Seriously guys, if my wallet can talk to me, it'll probably just punch me instead. Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another video. And today is going to be my June fragrance haul video. I bought a ton of fragrances. I never thought I'd buy this much since I'm moving and I need the money and I'm stupid. But I bought a lot of fragrances ranging anywhere from like the cheapies to the niche fragrances. Oh my god, I, I bought them all, dude. And let's go over them very quickly because we have a lot to cover. Let's jump right into the video, guys, with the three cheapies that I bought and those three are are Perry Alice 360 Red, Sean John's Unforgivable, and Nautica Voyage. Now guys, Perry Alice 360 Red, this is a clone of Agua Di Jo by Giorgio Armani. If you like that one, you're really gonna like this one. I can vouch for that. It is pretty good for the price. It's super, super cheap. And Nautica Voyage, this one you guys all know, legendary in the cheapy fragrance world. I had to try it. I never tried it before until I moved to Vegas. I like it a lot for the price. Again, very, very amazing fragrance. Now, Sean John's Unforgivable. I will be doing a comparison. This one, like a comparison video for, with this one and Millicent Imperial later on in the future. But so far, my impression of it is, is a more playful, more like easy to understand Millicent Imperial. So great fragrance, great price. All right, guys, the next two fragrances are gonna be designer fragrances. So the first one of that is Nui Dizzy by Izzy Miyagi. This one is really, really nice. Nothing too special in my opinion though, it's, really, it's just a really nice, manly, you know, uh, mass appealing kind of fragrance. A little synthetic, your typical kind of cologne vibe with the Izzy Miyake kind of cologne DNA. If you smell anything from Izzy Miyake before, you know what I'm talking about. This thing has it in there. And guys, this one was actually sent to me for free from Fragrance.com. So Fragrance.com, guys, is a great place to buy fragrances. I can vouch for that. I've been their customer for two years now and I have zero problem whatsoever. Fast delivery, products always as described, guys, and just amazing customer service when you need it. And guys, I love the place. I buy 99% of my fragrances that I bought online, I buy from that website. So definitely check out Fragrance.com. If you want really, really good prices on designer fragrances and also some niche fragrances, I'll leave the link down in the description below. And again, fragrance.com, thank you for sending me this thing. Moving on to the next fragrance, guys, and this one is one of the legendary vintage out in the community. This one is Pie by Givenchy. Vintage Pie by Givenchy, not, not the big logo one that you see everywhere. This is the small logo, guys. Now, this thing smells amazing. I love it. I was able to get a super, super good deal with this, and this thing does last a lot longer than the new formulation. Sadly, it's such a beautiful fragrance. I don't know why they had to reformulate it. <sighs> That's just a sad world that we live in when it comes to the fragrance world. They like to reformulate good stuff. <sighs> That's just sad, guys. But really, really good. If you can find a bottle of this for cheap, grab it, vintage Givenchy pie. Next, we're moving on to the niche territory, guys. And the first bottle of that being Pineapple Vintage Intense. This one was sent to me by the company I will review this sometime in the future. To me, right now, it smells like a very, very pineapple-y Aventus. Like, it is inspired by Aventus for sure, but I still think it's kinda trying to do its own thing. It's not trying to copy Aventus entirely, but I'll give more of my thoughts on a review coming in in the future. Just for now, a very, very nice fragrance. Projects very strongly, too. So, a nice grab if you like Aventus. All right, guys, the next two are from Crease. I'm just gonna show them together, and those two are Bois de Portugal and Aventus for her. Now, Bois de Portugal is the signature scent of Frank Sinatra, one of my most favorite singers of all time. Guys, yeah, I like those classic, that era of music. Frank Sinatra is like my hero. Man, this fragrance smells so, so good. But one thing though, I would never actually wear it myself because it smells a lot more like an older gentleman. So I'll wait like 10 years to pull this off. But since I love the smell so much and I found such a killer deal for it, I had to grab it, guys. That's just it. Love the smell. Now, next one, Aventus for her. I actually want a bottle of this for myself. But guys, yeah, this is not mine. This is for my girlfriend. She loves the smell too. It's one of her most favorite female fragrances from Creed. So being the good boyfriend that I am, I had to get this for her, you know? So yeah, guys, if I were to buy a, a, the next Creed fragrance, I would probably buy this one for myself. On, off my skin, it comes off a little more musky, not as peachy, works super, super well. But guys, that was a Ventus for her. Next one, guys, is a fragrance that I just discovered like yesterday, and I was trying to find information on this online, and there's like no information at all. There's no official notes. 
or anything at all guys but it smells amazing i think i found like a hidden gem a true hidden gem and this one is from claude marcel this one is last symphony smells like a very airy almost maple syrup kind of vibe in the air smells amazing too close and it smells like very synthetic kind of harsh but in the air i was like oh i sprayed this on i went to a movie and the whole time i was sitting at the movie guys i was like man this is gorgeous oh. Yeah guys, Last Symphony, I don't know where you can find this, I found it at an outlet mall here in Vegas, but if you can get your hands on this, definitely give it a try guys. Very, 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 very great fragrances, Last Symphony by Claude Marcel. Next one that I bought is a fragrance from By Killian, and this is one of their best, one of their very, very best. Not as good as sacred wood i would say i still like sacred wood better but this is really highly up there guys and this one is called royal leather this is i think a city exclusive to london only but they had it in town uh, for this month only in las vegas so i had to grab a bottle of this really really great leather fragrance guys it opens up a little bit boozy like a boozy leather if you smell any of the bicalian you know that they all have this boozy dna to them that's their house signature so there's that plus a lot a lot of leather guys very very sexy very very strong performance as well i sprayed one spray on my hand i smell it the whole entire day so nothing for the summertime for sure for the winter great fragrance super super sexy i can imagine this in a leather jacket and guys, I keep saying sexy because it is super sexy, invigorating and stuff. Just, oh, just try it. Try it. Just, just, just try it, guys. Royal Leather by by Killian. Moving on to the last one, guys. If you guys watched my vlog that I posted a couple days ago, you guys already know what I bought. If you guys didn't watch my vlog, what? Why? Why? Go watch it. Links in the description. But this fragrance is one of the most easy to wear, easy to appreciate gourmand fragrance out there in the market. For sure, guys. For sure. This one is El Contrario by Tiziana Terenzi. This is my first Tiziana... Tila. Tiziana Terenzi bottle ever and it's not gonna be the last one. I smelled a couple more uh, It's a great brand. It's a great line, but this is probably my all-time favorite from them. Al Contrario And this hits the spot guys. This is like a light airy hazelnut Gourmandy sweet nutty slightly bit of chocolate very ever so slightly but it smells so so good wearable gourmand sexy invigorating. It's just the whole package and it's not that expensive as well it's below $200 and for a niche fragrance to be below $200 and be this quality and be like also this unique man it's a steal guys Al Contrario definitely check it out from Tissina Terenzi very very good fragrance highly recommend it so yeah guys that's it for this video let me know what you bought in the comment section below in the month of June I would love to hear how much your wallet hates you guys right now so guys See you guys next time in another video. Thank you for watching. Peace out, peace out, peace out, and uh, bye.